So um, my children have asked me to be brief as possible. <laughs> my son put an exam part that he didn't like on my speech that he would just skip. There you go. So I want to just thank the Pueblo Hall of Fame committee members, organizers of tonight's event, all of the talent, the speakers here today are homegrown Pueblo students. So it is just really an honor to be here. I am really touched by this honor. I know many people who received this award, a lot of whom are here today. I mean, I have my principal, Mr. Costello, gets an award and I get one at the same time. Our coach of the year when I went to school is getting an honor at the same time. My little sister's principal is getting, I mean, it's overwhelming. Like I'm just sitting around like wanting to take pictures of everything because everyone is just had such a huge impact, not only in my life, but in so many other people's lives. So, um, you know, I have good friends, mentors, pioneers in their profession, and I am grateful to be selected and even acknowledged with them. I know their stories, their contributions, their legacies and impact in our lives, and I feel privileged and honored to be just named amongst them. I mean, amongst the thousands of Pueblo High School graduates, this is really, truly humbling. I am especially proud to represent the class of 1989. Um, amongst the honorees, I have to say, I win for the largest hair by radius, <laughs> hands down, and I just have to go to our babies, love them. So this is, um, I, I, I see this as not only an honor, but a responsibility that I feel we all owe to future generations of warriors. None of us want to be a picture on the wall and that students walk by and don't know who we are. So we need to have a presence on campus as much as we can. We need to talk to students and let them know about what it is that we've got, what's happened in our lives. Come to CSEC Weapons Day, come to games, be a part of the Alumni Foundation, donate what we can to scholarships. The students that are here deserve more opportunities than we have, and I feel that that's a responsibility that we do need to take on as graduates of Pueblo and any high school that we graduate from. So um, we all have things that wins and losses that you know we can learn from and they can learn from us. And I'm sitting here learning so much about the graduates that are being honored even here tonight. You know, I was sitting in my Nina Lupe Castillo's Mexican American class, and she was talking about the Chicago movement, talking about those who fought to ensure I had an opportunity to go to college. Um, what a whole generation of young people had to go through. I mean, my dad's hands were hit with a ruler for speaking Spanish. My Nino Vicente fought for our country in the Vietnam War and then had to come back to deal with all of the negativity and repercussions of a community that was against the war, but really let it out against the soldiers that fought. Um, my Theo was a brown beret. These are all things that she's talking about in front of me, and I'm sitting here taking notes, like, I did not know these things. And she looks over and says, well, Mikita, you know all this stuff, right? And I'm like, no, because we don't, when we're sitting down with our children at a table talking about our lives, that's not what we talk about. We're like, did your homework done? Did you take a shower? Did you wash every part? You know, something like that. We're not talking about like all of these things that have, like generations before us have talked about. I mean, I didn't know that when my mom and dad took us to like, you know, house parties and stuff, and we're sitting around with, you know, Betty Villegas and Isabel Garcia, and they're talking about all these these things in the movement and my Nina and Marco Count, I didn't know that when I look in history books, their names are there. These are like people that I would go and like, can we go home? And they're talking about these things that are like shaping the life of not only my child, but my children. And so it's every generation coming up is gonna have to deal and understand what the history is because they're unfortunately having to deal with the same things. SB 1070 segregating our children because they speak Spanish in schools. I mean, we have candidates, a candidate running for president that's talking about inter internment camps. I mean, that's a reality that our children have, are going to have to deal with. So they need the ammunition from our stories and our fight to help them overcome all of those struggles. You know, I want to thank the educators from Pueblo, like, John Hess, Manny Galvan, 
um, Cal Montgomery, Kelly Crane, Ed Nunez, Richard Castellum, and all the Castellums, because I think I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Curly Sunset Goose, all of you had a huge impact in my life. I want to say a personal thank you to my husband, Sol, my babies, Los Lito, we're ready, ready, Adelina, Lito, and Joaquin, um, for reminding me every day why the work that we do together is a responsibility, and it's a responsibility to take it forward. I want to thank you for your love and your patience. Um, thank you to my mom and dad for your support, your example for the kick in the butt when I needed that one. Um, thank you to my sister, my sister who's not here, my sister here, my brother-in-law, and thanks for um, giving me my first nephew. Yeah. Um, my, my best friends that are here with me, my in-laws, Olga and Antonio Gomez, the TUSD team that works so hard and has been said about you know what administrators do in any district but in our district. We have a lot of scrutiny that other districts don't have to deal with, and so um, represented here today by Dr. Sanchez, Crystal Foster, and Principal of Pueblo, uh, Dr. Agustin Romero, thank you so much for all of your work. You know, I am a very proud graduate of Hollinger Elementary School, of Wakefield Middle School, Go Knights, and Pueblo High School. And my senior year in high school, I was um, up for homecoming queen. And I lost something because this feeling I have to say is so much better. <laughs> now I can say I'm a part of the class of 2016, which is awesome. And um, you know, I am the granddaughter of a bracero and the daughter of a congressman. That's the difference a public education can make. Muchas gracias.